34. Around the world. Immigrant neighborhoods. There are many interesting immigrant neighborhoods around the world. In these neighborhoods, immigrants can often speak their native languages, buy products from their countries, and eat in restaurants that serve their favorite foods. A Cuban neighborhood in Miami, Florida. Vietnamese immigrants in Sydney, Australia. Turkish immigrants in Berlin, Germany. Chinatown in Toronto, Canada. Japanese immigrants in Sao Paulo, Brazil. A Russian neighborhood in Brooklyn, New York. What are different immigrant neighborhoods you know? Page 34. Interview. A side-by-side -side Gazette reporter recently visited Mr. Tran Nguyen, a Vietnamese immigrant in Australia. Mr. Nguyen lives and works in a Vietnamese and Chinese neighborhood in the suburbs of Melbourne. When did you immigrate to Australia, and why? Well, my brother left Vietnam in 1983 and came here to Australia. Seven years later, his wife and children joined him. I came here three years ago with my wife and children to be with my brother and his family. Do you work? Yes. I work seven days a week in my brother's restaurant, and I go to English classes at night. What did you do in Vietnam? I was a teacher. I taught mathematics. I want to be a teacher here someday, but first I want to send my children to college. What do you miss most about Vietnam? I miss my community and my friends. In Vietnam, people took care of each other. It's not the same here. Everyone here works very hard. People are very busy. They don't have much time to spend with friends. What do you like about your life here? We have many opportunities. My wife and I both have good jobs, and my son and daughter will go to college someday. I think we will have a very good future here, and we're very grateful.